Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about how to draw an array. This is a multiplication strategy. We have already been doing equal groups and repeated addition, and today we're just going to add arrays to our arsenal of certain multiplication strategies we can use to solve a multiplication problem. So today our time sign is going to say rows of. Normally it's been saying groups of, but today it's gonna say rows of. Three times four, or three rows of four. This is how we're going to solve our multiplication problem using an array. First, we're gonna draw three rows. One, two, three. <clears throat> and on each row, we're gonna put four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To find the answer, we are going to mark out these dots until we count them all and get the product. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So my product here is twelve. Remember, this is called product because that's our answer. It's like our final product. And these two guys are called factors. A factor times a factor equals a product. A factor times a factor equals a product. A factor times a factor equals a product. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this one. Okay, here we have, let's do four times six. We're gonna do a little bit of a harder one here. Okay, for this we are going to have our X or a time sign say four rows of six. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and it doesn't really matter what object you use on these rows, as long as you have four rows and six of each of those objects in each row. I'm gonna do X's this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 <coughs> so, I have my four rows of six. To find the product, we're going to count them all up. Like I said, I like to mark them out as I go so I don't accidentally miss one. I know that there's six on the first row, so I don't really need to count that. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So my product here would be 24, okay? I would recommend either using this method with like the X's or this method with the dots because let me show you if you try to do like cubes, what that looks like. Let's do like three times two. We'll do an easy one. Three rows of two. This method is a little bit harder, like if you're gonna draw an array this way, using cubes. So let's say you wanna do three rows of two. And you wanna do like one row, two rows, three rows. If you're looking here and you drew three rows, that's actually only two rows with cubes because you have to actually draw a fourth line down here to get your third and full row, okay? Then you would only draw one line down to get three rows of two. Now this is an array, but this is a very hard way and complicated way to draw it because most of the time you end up drawing it incorrectly. So I would prefer if you did this method or this method with the dots because you're gonna get a much more accurate and clear picture of what the answer is gonna be. The answer here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can do it this way, but this is a very complicated way. I would not recommend doing this. Um, I would recommend doing this method or this method when trying to solve for a multiplication problem. Good luck, guys.